Hello, welcome to Chem Camp. I'm Mrs. Newman. Are you struggling with how to calculate percent composition? Well, let's learn a little chemistry. Percent composition is a calculation that considers the mass an element contributes to a compound or molecule divided by the total mass of that compound or molecule and to make it a percent, you multiply by 100. Now, percent composition highly relies on molar mass calculations. So let's see how this is applied to a problem. It says determine the percent composition of each element in Ca3PO42. Now, like I said, percent composition highly relies on molar mass. So our first step here is going to be calculating the molar mass of calcium phosphate. So we're going to start with the calcium. In our compound, we've got three atoms of calcium. So we're going to do three times the atomic mass of calcium read from the periodic table, which happens to be 40.08. And we're going to do this for each one of those elements. So next up, we've got phosphorus. The phosphorus, though, is part of a polyatomic ion, so we have to be careful because that two that appears outside those parentheses gets distributed to each atom inside the parentheses. So we actually have two phosphorus atoms in this compound times 30.97, the atomic mass of phosphorus. Last up, we've got oxygen. Now we've got two times four oxygens, which gives us a total of eight oxygens times 16.00, the atomic mass of oxygen. Now I'm going to take a second to get the answer to each one of those multiplication steps because it's going to come in handy in a minute. So 3 times 40.08 gives me 120.24, 2 times 30.97 gives me 61.94 and 16 times 8 gives me 128 and of course I'm going to add those numbers together so 128 plus 61.94 plus 120.24 gives me a grand total of 310.18 grams per mole. Well, now I have the mass that each element contributes to the compound and the total mass of the compound. So now I'm set to calculate percent composition. I'm going to start once again with calcium. And I'm going to take the 120.24 grams that the calcium contributes divided by the 310.18 grams of the compound and multiply by 100. Gives me 38.76% for the calcium. I've got to do the same thing for the other two atoms. So for phosphorus, I have 61.94 grams divided by the 310.18 grams, all multiplied by 100. gives me 19.97%. Last up, I'm going to calculate the percent oxygen. So I have 128 grams divided by the 310.18 grams, all multiplied by 100. which gives me 41.27%. So 
So and now I know the percentage by mass of each one of those atoms in that compound, where the atom that contributes the greatest mass, the oxygen, has the highest percent, and vice versa. The atom that contributes the least mass to the compound, the phosphorus, has the lowest percent. Not only that, if you want to check your work, if you add up your percentages, they should be approximately 100. I hope this helps you calculate percent composition. Continue to follow along for more chemistry content. See you soon.